So this is the Asus ZenBook Pro 14 Duo laptop. A really cool and unique laptop that Asus sent over a few weeks ago that has some great features and great electronics under the hood. So let's take a look. So when we take a look at the design and the form factor, then I am absolutely in love. It has a really slim and minimal design. There isn't really any sort of RGB or massive logos, which I prefer over having those thick and flashy gaming laptops. But then when you flip it open, you're greeted by not only one, but two displays and not just any displays. These are both 120 Hertz touchscreen displays. Perfect for the included pen. Now the main display is a 14 and a half inch 2.8K OLED display with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, meaning you do have a little bit more real estate top and bottom, which is great for video editing, graphic design, and even gaming. And so no matter what you do with this display, it will look good, it will be smooth, and you will have really great contrast thanks to the OLED display. Now, even though the main display is 14 and a half inches, you do still have a fairly small footprint. Now the laptop itself is around 18 millimeters thick and weighs around 1.7 kilograms, making it really easy to throw into your backpack and take with you wherever you go. They did also save some space by not placing the mouse pad below the keyboard. And I honestly like how this keyboard and mouse pad layout looks. And once you get used to the new placement of the mouse pad, it actually works better than having it below the keyboard or at least it did for me. Now the model I have here is powered by the Intel i9 3900H, an RTX 4050, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, as well as a one terabyte hard drive, but there are a lot of different SKUs, but the model I have here is extremely powerful. Now I did use the ZenBook to edit videos, images, TypeScripts, and even game. And while doing all of this, the laptop performed really well. One thing I really liked was editing photos as the included pen and touchscreen make it really easy to edit and retouch images in Photoshop and Lightroom. And if my drawing skills were any better, this would probably be an all right device for Photoshop and Fresco as well. Now I do have to add here that even though gaming was really good on this laptop, I wouldn't really recommend this laptop for gaming as it is a little bit more overkill for me for gaming. And this is more aimed towards creatives anyway. So if you're looking for a laptop just for gaming and to do some creative work on the side, then I would definitely look at other models compared to this one. Now what's great about the displays is you can use them in a few different and creative ways. Both of them are color accurate, meaning that if you wanna edit videos or photos and have a reference image at the bottom, then you can use the reference image at the bottom and know that it is color accurate to then use for your reference for the top. If you're, for example, doing color grading, then that would work really well. Now, of course, if you're just drawing as well, then you can use the bottom or the top display once again to have a reference image up. So that is really easy. When you're writing scripts like I have done, then it's really easy to use the bottom display as sort of a research tab. So I can have tabs open with all sort of images and data that I need to actually write the script on the top display, which is also really handy. And then once you're editing photos and videos and everything else, you can put your entire timeline on the bottom screen. You can use it for different tools. You can have different sliders and things at the bottom. So having the second display and having the second display like this really comes in handy, especially on a laptop for creators. Now, even though both of these displays are really great, they do still have some drawbacks. And the first one for me is the fact that the top display doesn't actually fold over flat or around. So this is sort of the max it can fold at, which is a bummer because that makes it a little bit harder to use for drawing, but you can still easily use this for retouching images and whatever else it is that you want to do. But for drawing, this is a little bit of a setback. Now if we move away from the displays and take a look at the ports, on the left side we do have a headphone jack. Then if we take a look at the back, we have our power connector, a micro SD card slot, which I wish was a full size SD card slot, which would have been great for just taking the footage from my camera and just plugging it directly into here and downloading all the files. But now it's just a micro SD card slot. Still good that they've added that. Then you have an HDMI out, which you can use to add to another screen if you want that. Then on the right side, you do have three USB ports, one USB type A, and then two USB type C's, which really come in handy if you have a lot of peripherals, like if you do have wired mouses and keyboards and stuff like that, then the fact that they still add a USB type A for me is really cool because my keyboard still uses that. 
but if you're using newer devices, at least you still have two USB Type-C ports. Then the laptop also comes with a full HD webcam, a four mic array that captures 360 degree audio, and even has AI noise reduction to remove background noises for clearer online meetings and calls. Then if you're not using headphones, you will be listening to sound provided to you by Harman Kardon, which sound really good. So if you don't wanna wear headphones or in-ears the entire day, you don't have to. So as I said, the Asus ZenBook Pro 14 Duo took everything that I threw at it and handled it like a champ whether that was video editing, editing images, playing games, or just using it for general day-to-day -day purposes, this laptop worked extremely well. And for the price, it definitely should. The second screen also comes in really handy, whether that is for a reference display while editing photos or videos, having it as an extra workspace to have your timeline on when editing videos, or if you're just using it for live streaming and having the second display open with your OBS on, it really does come in really handy. For me, two screens are sort of a must have for my setups wherever I go. So having a laptop that has a second screen built in while still having a small form factor really is a great added extra. I really love the design and form factor of the device, how compact it is when you actually fold it up, how easy it is to carry around with you every day, but it isn't without its flaws. Now the first drawback for me is the fact that displays don't actually fold down flat and this is the most you can get out of it. It really does limit your ability with what you can do with this. I would have loved if it could have folded in some sort of like tablet format and you can use the top bigger display for drawing. You could still potentially use the bottom one, but I would have loved to be able to use the top one for drawing as well. Secondly is the brightness of the displays. These displays don't go as bright as I would have loved them to go. For indoor uses, they're more than good enough. For outdoor uses, they may not be good enough. Uh, depends on where you actually use this laptop. But for general use cases, I wish it would have just gone a little bit brighter. And then lastly is battery life. Now it does have an OLED display, meaning that if you have darker areas, if you have darker themes, then you will get a little bit more battery life out of this. But battery life in gaming laptops and high-end laptops like this are usually a little bit lower because they have all of these high-end components that they need to run, which do require a lot of power. So that isn't really something that shook me at all, but it is something that still lacks. So if you're gonna be wanting to use this laptop for extended periods of time without having the ability to charge it, then this might not be a good option. But then in general, if you need a laptop with this power, then that will always be a problem for you. And then the one thing that will probably stop most people is the price. Now this is a pretty expensive laptop, but it is justifiable for what you get. This isn't a laptop just for everyday use for everybody. This is a high-end laptop made for creatives and you do get a lot of things included that you don't get included with other laptops, like the second screen, the pen, which is also a really great addition that you don't have to go out and buy secondly. And this is just an overall all-in-one package for creatives, for video editing, photos, or whatever else it is that you may wanna do with this. But let me know down in the comment section below, what do you think of the Asus ZenBook Pro 14 Duo?